Hello, my name is Alexander Schatten. Uh, I'm talking to Davis Radek Sindela from uh, Technical University of Prague and Certicon. You're an expert in advanced process control, simulation, frameworks and modeling. Maybe you can give us a brief idea what your problem domain is and what the challenges are in your domain. Uh, in the last several years we have worked on the different project uh, related to the advanced process control and one of the most important part of uh, uh, this era are uh, models and simulations. So our goal was to uh, prepare a mathematical model mm -hmm. of the um, target plan and to introduce this model to our customer and to help them to use this uh, model for everyday work for different tasks like uh, prediction or uh, job planning, uh, estimation, unmeasured variables. Could you give so us an example for such a system where your uh, modeling uh, framework one is of used? The Best examples is a water distribution network, which is a large-scale system containing uh, hundreds or even thousands of variables. So, a water distribution system would be the the water control system of a city or something. Of yeah, it's a distribution system distributing water to to target customer, to, okay. to the people living in the city, okay, to the okay. industry. Okay. And what are the core uh, components of such a system? Uh, well, from from our point of view, uh, the core component is the dynamic simulation of this uh, of the system, mm -hmm. which is uh, able to simulate all states of the system. It means okay. all pressures or levels uh, flows in the system, mm -hmm. and these uh, variables uh, should be provided to uh, to the people who work with the water distribution network. And uh, that's, I think, uh, what we see on this figure also illustrated. Uh, here is the uh, here's the structure of the uh, of the system. Uh, at the left down corner, uh, there is a, um, a real system. It means water distribution system mm -hmm. controlled by the typical uh, PLCs, mm -hmm. uh, industrial uh, computers, mm -hmm. and via OPC server, it's connected to the SCADA HMI, which is uh, the system. Uh, uh, with screens used by the uh, by the operator okay. to control the water distribution system, and our uh, simulator run in parallel with the real system, and it's connected also via the OPC mm -hmm. server. Uh, to so the you're making simulations in parallel to the operation, yes, and provide some support for the for the operator. Yes, it's a support for the for the decision of the of the operator. Okay. It's, it's one of the tasks uh, we would like to uh, to provide to our uh, customer. Okay. Uh, the problem is that uh, this structure is very specific to this project, okay. so it must be designed based on the project requirements. Uh, also, the problem is that uh, we need historical data, and this data must be downloaded manually to our simulator. Okay. And if there is uh, if there is a change in the project, mm -hmm. it means then we add or remove some variable. If we simply change the simulator, something like this, we have to go and, and change the interfaces, we have to do a lot of changes. So as a matter of fact, this is already the reason uh, why you are in this research project? Yes, this is um, the reason. So as I, if I would conclude it, uh, so the problems are that you have complicated simulations that yeah. uh, consist of several parts, Yes. complex data, uh, control variables and so on, and it's a little bit difficult to keep this consistent also over over time, so when you want to go back to all the simulations and things like this, is this correct? Yes, this is correct. Moreover, uh, we would like to use the same simulation model for more different okay. tasks. Okay. So uh, there are different modes of the... So simulation. you want to avoid to create one specialized simulation model that you cannot reuse easily yes. later on. So yes. you want to People go like to reusable uh, exactly. models, right? Exactly. And uh, thus we decided to uh, to change the structure and introduce the uh, uh, the idea of the the service bus to okay. uh, our. Uh, so I think on, th on this slide we see uh, an overview of the targeted solution. Uh, yes. Where, where is the service bus in the center? And maybe we can explain the other components briefly. So. Uh, we have divided uh, all tools we use into several groups. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the main parts are the data storages, which yeah. we can divide to the online da data storages, mm -hmm. where the 
online data, so the data measured from the field uh, okay. uh, are stored and uh, data storages with the historical data, yes. which we used for uh, for um, simulation, initialization or so the these are past analysis. The, 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 the yes, these are okay. the past data from the process. Then we have the simulators. This is the well main uh, main domain or main group yeah. of the tools we used. Uh, but it uh, does not cover only simulators, but also optimizers okay. and also... So actually a variety of tools that do sim the simulation or support the simulation? Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, it's, uh, it covers all, sim all tools we need to support advanced process control. Okay. And what is design tools and HMI? Uh, HMI is a general group uh, of tools uh, which is uh, used for access the service bus and access the simulators mm -hmm. and, and run whole processes okay. and configure the system. And design tools? Uh, design tools are uh, intended for the semantic integration which is Okay, that we part. talked about already in, in the previous talk. Okay, so we skip the semantic at the moment. Okay, let's have a quick overview over the, uh, let's say, system architecture. On the bottom is the Open Engineering Service Bus, yeah. so I see that you use the Open Engineering Service Bus as a foundation, as an integration platform, but you need a lot of extensions to get your uh, system done. Open Engineering Service Bus uh, developed here at Technical University in Vienna uh, uh, was used as a core of the, or is used as a core of the system, but because the Open Engineering Service Bus was intended for a little bit uh, different uh, area, it's mainly used by the software engineer mm -hmm. and the definition of our task mm -hmm. uh, is, is driven by different uh, uh, users. We decided to extend it okay. and to build uh, something what we call layered domain approach. And in this approach we have uh, uh, several layers of domains mm -hmm. for each uh, uh, entities mm -hmm. and uh, uh, so These the layers describe the, uh, the view of the, of the uh, okay. given user. Okay, so. so the configuration level, I think, is, is rather clear. So what are, what are these two levels then? The, the uh, so uh, our tasks are, are driven by two groups of yeah. users. Uh, uh, the control engineer? The control engineer yeah. and the target user or the, or the final user. Okay. The control engineer is the... Uh, is uh, preparing the simulation design. It works on the system analysis. Okay. It prepares the data flow definition. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So its language is a little bit different from the final user, okay. who knows how to how to control the the target system. For instance, water distribution network, and he would like to use. So our final user is the one that operates the system in the end. Yes, okay. final user operates the system or they operate our simulation. Okay. Okay. And he uses it uh, for. Uh, for the job planning, okay. uh, um, optimal control, okay. or uh, or operator training. Okay. So uh, the language at this level and the object at this level are uh, created in order to to be able to define okay. task in the Good. in the final user language. Right. Okay. I think we're going to show a quick demo. Of the okay. prototypical web of the web application that illustrates how the simulation framework is intended to work, and we go step by step through a typical use case how you would define and configure such simulation runs. Okay. Okay. Nice let's uh, start the simulation. So the simulation modules are basic objects in our uh, simulation framework. Here we have a, a module management. Uh, in the list of our available uh, modules, we can go to the detail and we can see uh, the information we store for each module. There is a list of the input tags, a uh, list of the output tags, the name of the simulator, uh, which is used to run the simulation modules. Uh, each module is based on the uh, special uh, schema file describing the inputs and the outputs. And for each module, we keep uh, more uh, one uh, or more uh, source code versions. Uh, simulation modules are uh, put together uh, in so-called projects. Each project contains a list of the modules which will be run during the one simulation run. 
to run the projects we need data, input data set uh, for the simulation run uh, to uh, manage uh, all data sets available in the, simulation, uh, in the simulation framework. We have a special management. Now we are going to choose uh, uh, the version of the data set which is intended for our CSIS project. We can go to the detail and see uh, what data, what versions of the uh, data sets are available. And the, another thing we need to run uh, the projects are parameters. The project, uh, the parameter management provides you the full control over the uh, parameters available for all modules in the simulation framework. And uh, the last uh, part of the management uh, uh, in the simulation framework are the tags available for modules. Now we are ready to run our simulation, so we have to go and choose our uh, projects we are going to run in our case model CSIS so we need to find appropriate data set and its revision uh, we need to choose uh, appropriate tag list and its revision and the last thing we have to set is the start time of the simulation and the final time of the simulation Now we can continue and to choose the right revisions of our simulation modules and the start the simulation workflow. When the simulation is finished we can go to the journal and to see what uh, steps uh, has been done, been done in our uh, simulation workflow and we can go and download uh, all inputs to our simulation and we can uh, download also the results of our simulation and check whether the results fits our requirements.